Hi everybody, my name is Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto Under 20 Total Carbs. It's going to be quite a tombstone, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, are you new here or new to keto? Well, either way, my, my two words to you to start are slow down. Oftentimes we believe so much hype on certain things, this being the keto food plan, that we dive right in and we just reconstruct our whole life and we figure we'll, you know, we go out and we buy a size zero bikini because we know we'll be in it by March 1st. Slow down. Keto is something that I look at as a lifestyle, as a way of eating. It's not gonna go away anytime soon. You may have that nice, lovely whoosh in the beginning where you drop some pounds and it's so, oh, it's just so exciting. And, um, and so you figure, well, and if you believe the hype in the woman's world and the first woman magazines, you're going to be dropping, you know, 11 pounds a week for the next four weeks anyway. It doesn't work like that, especially if you have an older metabolism and it's a deranged metabolism and you've been messing around with your metabolism with all kinds of crazy, trendy food plans for a number of years. Raise your hand. Yep, a lot of us do that before we get here. We're crazy. We belong to Weight Watchers 97 times. We join Tops. We do Jenny Craig. We do Nutrisystem. We do ideal protein, we do starvation diet, cabbage soup diet, all kinds of crazy, crazy, crazy things. Excuse me. You're having yours, why can't I have a sip of mine? So we do all these crazy things and then we hear about keto and we think, oh, this, this is where it's gonna get good. This is, okay, now they really mean it. I'll lose the weight, blah, 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 blah. And guess what? After that whoosh, if you're even lucky enough to have one, it slows down. Sometimes it becomes non-existent. Your body, especially if you're an older woman like me, your body has been out there in the woods eating standard American food for so long. It's got a, it's got a lot of healing to do. So let it. Just slow down. Enjoy the journey. What other food plan have you been on where you can have eggs and bacon and butter and cheese? okay? And your veggies. I love my veggies. This whole keto hype about like, you know, bacon and butter and you're drinking your butter and all that, kind of, it, it, that's not true. You know, most of the people, all of the women I work with and most of the people that comment here, males and females, we don't have, we don't have bacon every single day, every single meal. We, we aren't buying bacon by the 10 pound lots and going through it in a week. Most of us are pretty sane about our food by the time we get here. We find something that works for us. And you know, it's funny, being 68, I have beef five times a week. I do. It carries me, I sleep so soundly, I can't believe it. And um, it carries me energy wise. I have, I have so much energy today, energy that I never had before. So it, it's kind of fun. It's kind of exciting. And I never get bored, even with having the same thing day after day at times, because I love it. So I look forward to it the next day. Although I pretty much have three days that I always have the same thing. Fridays, I have an omelet with sweet Italian sausage and some cheese and a salad. Saturday is um, keto pizza. I use the fathead dough recipe. Um, Rouse pizza sauce and then my toppings and then on Sunday we cook on the big green egg and I have usually it's a Delmonico we cook um, on there it lasts for a week you know sometimes it's a rack of ribs sometimes it's filet mignon that we'll have earlier in or later in the week and um, Brussels sprouts asparagus and cauliflower and it's delicious and so by doing the same things day in, day out, it just works. I even made a commitment to weigh myself on the first Thursday of every month. <laughs> I saw that happen. I thought that was funny. So um, 
February 7th will be my next weigh-in. And so I haven't weighed myself for a month, so I have no idea. If I stay the same, that to me is a gain. It's wonderful. It means pretty much that I'm at my set point. The last time I weighed was one, two, three point four. Love that. And so we'll see. It's it's a little ways away. And so we'll get her done. Um, but if you're new and if you're new here, just slow down. Don't have those great expectations. You build yourself up for that little bit of a crash. It's just not worth it. You're worth it. So buy the best ingredients that you can buy. Don't get into keto fying. Don't get into keto shakes. <clears throat> don't get into keto bars. And don't start buying all those supplements. My goodness, you could order two supplements and you're out $100. What if you don't like it? What if it feels like it's a scam, like it doesn't work, like you're having this powder in your water and it's like, well, this isn't changing anything. I did that with collagen. I have no nails. I still have no nails. <laughs> I had, I was buying this collagen thinking, oh great, I'm finally gonna have the nails. My nails have their own schedule. Like I said to somebody one time, I got good hair and bad nails, right? So it just, you know, it's our lot in life. And I don't think you need to take supplements to make something work that hasn't worked. If it hasn't worked for me for 68 years, you know, I'm not expecting a potion to work, right? So powders, potions, pills, um, energy bars, candy bars with wigs, I call them, shakes, all those sort of things, ketofying things, ketofying desserts, ketofying breads. You don't need to do it. The simpler you keep it at the beginning, the more disciplined and used to keto you will be, and you will benefit from the non-scale victories a whole lot more. I'm not kidding you your digestion, your sleep, your mood, your energy level, all of these things can be improved, not to mention giving up meds. Somebody said the other day that they've given up eight meds since they got to keto. How awesome is that, right? So, you know, diabetes too, they, they, type two, they never thought that it could be reversed, but they're showing it can be. I don't know about um, type one, and I'm not a doctor um, or any other initials after my name for, for nutrition, but I do know that many people have lessened or eliminated meds along the way. They're not sore anymore. Their, their arthritis has improved. Their skin has improved. The eczema, the psoriasis, things like that, um, that you might be taking a med for. And when you read what could happen to you, you know, I, I have one med, um, I get the prolia shot every six months because I have osteoporosis and every bone density test that I had, it was getting worse and worse and worse. And finally it was like, okay, okay. So for a couple of years, I'll be on it. It's not what I hope for. I don't have any side effects to the best of my knowledge, but I'm doing it. And hopefully my next bone density, it'll show that I'm not carrying into that tiny little woman that if you shook my hand, my bones would break because it was starting to sound that way. I don't know, I'm adopted. So I have no idea where a lot of these health things came from. So I keep my food plan very simple. I keep my keto very simple. I keep my life very simple. And out of that comes a simplicity that I wouldn't trade back for being 20 at all. It's just nice, it's simple. You know, it, 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 it's just, it's a quiet daily contentment that, that just, it can't be described um, unless you're, you're experiencing it or getting towards that. There, it doesn't beat anything. Some people, you know, I used to be addicted to, key, uh, to chaos, my own and others. And, you know, drama, 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 and um, trauma, 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 and all that kind of stuff. And it's like, not today, not today. It's not on my... It's not on my list of things to seek out because I get bored. If I'm bored, I can go to YouTube and watch 955 billion gazillion keto carnivore sort of um, YouTube videos and I can just lose myself. It's great. And there's other topics too that I like. I'm not just, you know, as Mike was saying, we're not just all about food and keto. Some of us have other interests as well. 
We do. So anyway, what am I having today? I'm dying to know, aren't you? Well, it's um, it's already in my chronometer, and yes, you know I've threatened to give it up, uh, and not track. We'll see. We'll see after the weigh-in what happens. So today, for macros, I am having thirteen hundred and twenty-five calories. 82.7 grams of protein, 11.4 total grams of carbs, and 106 grams of fat. And the reason my carbs are high is because I'm having crack slaw, and I'm having Bragg's aminos on that, and that has carbs. And I'm also having a side salad, and that has carbs. So hence the 11.4 um, total carbs. So I'm having Trader Joe's butter and radicchio lettuce, 75 grams. On that is 20 grams of macadamia nut oil and five grams of fourth and heart ghee, pink Himalayan um, ghee, five grams of that. And that gets melted into the uh, macadamia nut oil. And I'm having, um, oh, actually I have to fix this because it has, it has more carbs than I thought. So my carbs are 9.9. .9. I had um, I had double lettuce there. I'm having two Pete and Jerry jumbo eggs, gently fried, and those will go on top of the crack slaw, the salad on the side. I will be happy. So, in parting today, just just keep your keto program simple. Just aim for 20 total carbs. Don't play around with the net. Don't play around with your scale. These are only words of wisdom I can give you after going through insanity. Most of us aren't content with somebody else's um, words of wisdom. We have to learn the hard way. But I said to somebody the other day, you know, be careful because if the scale doesn't tell you what you want and you throw it through, through the window, it's winter. You might get cold. So <laughs> you might not want to just, you know, ease up, Chauncey. It, the scale is not the determinant. Take that pair of jeans. And, you know, take the pair that you want to fit into and the pair that you're wearing now and just use those once a week, once every two weeks, whatever. I know that Mike from Carnomad uses his tape measurement for his waist. That's his indicator. I know for me, because I hold in my stomach or sometimes I'm bloated, it wouldn't be that true reading that like a pair of jeans would be. So slow down, enjoy the ride, enjoy the nummies that you, I mean, heavy cream and coffee you know, did you ever believe that you could do that and be on a, a that's a food approved in keto? <laughs> yeah. So enjoy yourselves. It's a wonderful journey. I'm glad you're here. And I've got things going on. I've got um, ketocoachingsarah.com if you want the one-on-one. -on -one. I sell mugs. I've got a video with mugs. It says keto slash dash mugs. And I also accept PayPal donations. You would go to the about in the cover page of my YouTube channel. Click on that and click on PayPal and donations are always welcome. Thank you so much. I will see you the next time here on Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto Under 20. This has been Sarah. You're the bomb. Thank you. Bye-bye for now.